Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO team up video. Today's team up video, guys, we're gonna be looking at the new Beedrill we just got, and we're gonna be pairing it with Meganium in a Meganium Beedrill toolbox type of deck, using other Pokemon like Needle Queen here to back you up. Before we get into this PCGO video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. If you guys still need to get any more team up codes, any Lost Thunder codes, any Jolteon GX codes, definitely head over to Card Cavern TCG. Buy them there. Use code LDF for a discount on your purchase. And there you go. So, this is a very interesting Meganium deck. Meganium has been seen quite a bit of play since it's kind of blew up in Japan. And uh, we just have way many more partners now thanks to Nidoqueen. Now Nidoqueen Meganium on its own can probably be a deck, but we're going to be looking at with Beedrill today. And I might do a Beedrill budget deck very soon too. I do have some ideas with uh, Beedrill here and Kakuna from Crimson Invasion. So I might make like a Beedrill budget video. I want to do more budget decks is basically what I'm trying to get at. So the deck is fairly interesting. There's three different stage two attackers that this deck operates on. So the first one is going to, of course, be Beedrill. Beedrill has the attack a Destiny Stinger, which for one grass energy, if this po you can use the deck if this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, and both active Pokemon are knocked out. So you use Destiny Stinger, and you knock out anything as long as you're damaged. So as long as you have at least 120 HP, then you won't take out anything. Now Destiny Stinger is really good at taking out Tag Team GX's, if your opponent just is sitting with like a Venusaur or Celebi or a Pika Rom just in the active spot, ready to go, and you just Destiny Stinger knock them out, you get three free prizes. And this thing alone can take out a GX Pokemon and take multiple prizes anyway, so it's like a really good attack. So Destiny Stinger is very cool, very fun. The only problem is getting damage on it. Now we do have... The only way to get it is literally just with Rainbow Energy right now, and you can still use... Reckless Charge, which can do 90, and then you put 10 damage on Beedrill. So as long as Beedrill doesn't get KO'd, then uh, you can actually then follow up with a Destiny Stinger. But Rainbow Energy is going to be our main way to do it. Of course, Rainbow Energy, when you attach it to a Pokemon, it counts as any energy, but you have to put one damage counter on that Pokemon, so it's a perfect substitute for it. We are going to use Nidoqueen this deck too as an attacker and a support Pokemon. Nidoqueen is really good with Meganium. You got uh, Queen's Call, once during turn before you attack, you may search your deck for a Pokemon that isn't a GX or an EX and put it in your hand. This can help you get out your Swampert and Beedrills when you need them, especially Beedrill. And Nidoqueen actually has a very powerful attack, Power Lariat, which does Temple 50 more damage for each evolution Pokemon on your bench. Normally, we're probably going to have maybe like three to four evolutions in play at once because we might have a Lele on our bench and we might just have like a basic on our bench that isn't evolved yet. So Power Lariat on average can do like pretty good numbers just because again we'll only maybe have like three to four evolutions in play so if we have one evolution in play we do 60 if we have two in play we do uh 110 and then of course if we have another evolution card in play we do 160 then we have four evolutions in play you get the point math racks up pretty quickly Swampert's in the deck also, obviously we need it for power draw to be able to draw cards, but it's really good to attack with Hydro Pump too. And we are playing Rainbow Energy, so if you don't ever need to attack with Beedrill, you can always attack with Swampert instead. Um, so there is that option. And we are playing a 3-2 Alola Ninetales line. Most Meganium lists will play 3 Vulpixes because Ninetales is literally how the deck starts up. So yeah, Ninetales is going to be used in here. We got just one tap of Lele, and of course we got the 2-3 Meganium line, I've decided with 2 Meganiums, I am playing 2 Stretchers, so I'm like whatever, we can get away with that. I'm playing 2 different Chikoritas, one for the Elm and then just one for the 70 HP. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for the Pokemon. There are some techs you can play, we already kind of capped out as to how much Pokemon we can put in this deck already, like 24 Pokemon is a lot. But if there are any tech cards you can play, I mean there's other Sage 2 Pokemon that you can look at, there's not that like many good new ones though to put in here if you're playing like grass energy since i do play one i guess you can run like a, like a 1-1 one, one septile line if you want you can play like a 1-1 one, one decidueye line really that's about it um you can try out dragonite in here you can use dragonite with meganium so there are some tech options if you want to run those uh, for pokemon wise now we go to the items pretty straightforward four pokecoms four ultra balls two stretchers four candies that's literally it for the items and we're just going to go simple on the items just because we're trying to aim 
for the best case scenario for us, right? We want to play four rare candies, four ultra balls, just to get our Pokemon in play. We got four Pokecoms to help us swap out. Since we have so much Pokemon in the deck, you know, instead of going nine tails for timer ball, we can instead use Pokecom instead. I like the two stretchers because, you know, you knock out Beedrill, you can get it back. You can also stretch her back any important attacker. So if some attackers are better in certain matchups, like Needle Queen is better in other matchups than like Beedrill might be. So there's some reasons for why I'm playing two stretchers. For my supporters, three Cynthia's, two Lilies, one Erica's Hospitality, three Professor Elm's Lecture, and two copies of Guzma. And one counter gain. Counter gain is huge in here, guys. Counter gain is big. It allows you to attack with Needle Queen for DCE, which is why I like it. One super boost energy, just really important to have in this deck, obviously. Four DCE, since you can attack with Needle Queen, you can attack with Beedrill even. Four rainbow energies for your Beedrill, and just a single grass energy to round out the energy in this deck. So, yeah, this is my Meganium Needle Queen. Swamper deck or whatever you want to call it. Um, pretty fun deck. Uh, it's a cool archetype. Definitely gives Meganium a little bit more leg room now that we have another good attacker that goes with Meganium. So I'm excited to cover this deck. So let's go get some matches on PCGO, see the deck in action, and uh, see what we can do with it. Alright guys, let's go start doing some games. New ladder, Plumeria, Necrozma, pretty good card. Plumeria is catching a bit more play. Necrozma is a good card. If you want to play Malamar, it's a good card. Oh, damn. Another Poketuber. Alright, let's go. Alright, we do lose the coin flip. We'll see what we're up against. This is definitely another Poketuber. Pokemon TCG Center. That's pretty hype, actually. It's pretty hype. Unfortunately, this game ain't gonna end very well because our hand kinda sucks. I guess if I can draw Beedrill and another Pokemon, maybe I can, like... Oh, but he just scoops automatically. Huh? What was he playing? Is he gonna let me know? All right. Well, don't know what happened there. That was another Pokemon YouTuber though, which is pretty cool. Got some coins, so we'll be able to buy a pack next. We'll just wait though. I'll right, we'll see what we play against here next. And we'll see what happens. I don't know why uh, that seed happened, whatever. Let's see if it takes us long to find a match. Come on, let's go. Let's get into a game. But yeah, I'm just hoping we play against tag team text, I'm gonna be honest with you. Because we, oh, that's Uh, because, well, it might be, let me Charizard, actually. I don't know what it is. But yeah, we want to play against tag team decks because we want to be able to just drop a tag team on them and just go boop. Take out a tag team and take three prizes. That's that's what today's video is all about. All right, so we're gonna start with Mudkip Weedle. We might need Be Beedrill's really important for Bocephalon, but so is Mudkip. I think we just start with the Weedle anyways. Swampert's really good in this matchup, obviously against Bocephalon, but whatever. I think it's I think it's better to start with the Weedle. But Weedle is okay against Bocephalon because it gets us the two free prizes, but still, he might not even play Bocephalon. He might just be playing Charizard. Which he is, which is honestly more annoying because it's forced us to have to attack with Needle Queen, which I don't really want to do. So we'll probably just Lily. I think we'll draw a card. Yeah, okay, gun energy. So I think I will go for Lily. I think I will go for the Lily here. I guess I could Lele for now get both picks instead. And then Lily the following turn? Yeah, actually, no, that's a bit smarter. Screw it. Well, Lily for eight is still up for grabs, but I don't know. Well, no, yeah, I think Lily for like a few cards up for grabs. It's fine though. We'll probably play the Rainbow on the Mudkip. I don't really need Beedrill in this matchup. Mudkip and Needle Queen are honestly going to be the main attackers here. Simply because they can one shot Charizard. I don't know. I just I don't really think we need Beedrill here. Beedrill doesn't really help us much. So we're going to Lily for seven. We're going to probably Elm. Well, it's only for one card, but I can grab the Vulpix. Maybe I do go for Lily. I don't know. Just drew another rainbow. Yeah, I think we just go for Lily. Okay. We didn't get the Vulpix. We did get the Needle Ran, though. Hmm. Do I 
pass? Yeah, I think I just passed. Could bench the Weedle, no point really. Weedle probably won't survive the turn. No Vulpix kind of sucks. I do want to get Ninetales, and I want to get Swampert into place so we can knock out Charizard with Swampert. So that kind of sucks. I don't even know if we can beat Charizard, if I'm being honest with you. I truthfully don't really know if we can really beat Charizard anyways. It's not really a good matchup in my books. Even with Swampert, even with like the ability to attack Nidoqueen, Charizard is still a bad matchup. Charizard is still a bad matchup in my eyes. So yeah, I don't know if we'll win this. We'll see though. Just have to kind of go overkill to knock out Weedle, which is kind of cool. Don't know what we go into though, which is the only unfortunate thing. Maybe I should have benched the Weedle, because I don't really know what I want to go into here. But we have to play Lele, so yeah. I guess we just have to maybe bring out Chikorita. I could just bring out the Needle Ram, but we need Needle Queen. I can play the other Rainbow on it. But him taking the first prize is why I don't know if this matchup is very good. I think we have to bring in the Chikorita. We have more Chikoritas than we have Needle Rams, unfortunately. The Jutsu Boost Energy is a little too early for that. We'll drop Lele. Lele for Cynthia. I think I just reset my hand. I think I just reset it. I don't. I, we had the Nine Tails, right? Elms, whatever. But still, I think we reset it. And the reset paid off. We got the Swampert down, which is perfect. We can probably just get rid of Ultra Ball here. We got Nido Queen, so we can do the counter gameplay I want to do, and we can do Power Lariat, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll calm away the the Weedle, get full picks here. So let's see, what do we prize in terms of energy? Okay, we prize the DC. That does kind of suck, uh, but we do have all other energy, so that's good. We just pass. So we let him knock me out. Probably bring out the Swampert. Or actually, maybe we just go for the counter gameplay. But we need to hit DC and it's not looking likely. We didn't even get a supporter. So we're kind of relying on our power draw and our top deck then. So I don't know if that's a good idea. But again, to be honest, I don't really know if we can even beat this matchup. I'm, I'm being like straight blunt. I actually don't think we can beat this matchup. I do. It's nice that we were able to get some extra energy built up, but really this matchup is not... I don't think it's too winnable. I don't think it's too winnable. He can one-shot me fairly easily, and he can build himself up one turn. It takes me multiple turns to build up my attackers. This matchup, not good. We'll see, though. If we can knock out Charizard here, maybe we can do something. I just don't know what I want to put into play. I might just have to go for the Needle Queen. But the Swampert's probably smarter. You know what, you'll We're going for the Needle Queen. We're going to try it out. See if it pays off. That was a huge top deck. Now I get just to do Super Boost Energy. So we don't have to play Counter Gain, which is kind of useful, actually, because we can maybe still do a DC Swampert play. So we'll get Ninetales for Double Candy. Wait. No. Dang it, I screwed that up. Rare candy communication. Oof, never mind. Maybe we didn't get there. Oh, I didn't even. I could just use his ability the whole time. I'm dumb. Alright, we'll just get rid of this, I guess. I could use his ability. Why didn't I get double rare candy? And yeah, I, I figured that would come to bite me. That's fine. We can just... Wow, I, sh I feel like an idiot. Oh my gosh, why didn't I get all of our candy, guys? Why? Oh, we don't even have the other Swampert. Never mind. Okay, well, there you go. I think we just grabbed Weedle then. But I don't want to... I don't want to grab any prizes, but... Yeah, we're kind of screwed. 
guys. We can't knock him out power Larry here, which is pretty bad. This is the best I can do. Oh, we do knock him out. Never mind. Okay, my math is off. Sorry, guys. I just woke up. So, yeah, my brain's kind of scrambled. I could have done that turn a lot better, though. Whatever, though. We got the knockout Needle Queen. We're going to get KO'd here, unfortunately. We just got to hope he's running thin on energy soon. You still attack with Swampert, which is good. Yeah, I don't know. My brain is kind of scrambled right now. My math is just all over the place. Okay, I'm kind of in... I'm surprised he's attaching the Choice Band now, considering Nine Tails and Lele are both my bench. And that's probably how we lose. He's going to go down to three prizes. And really, all he needs to do there is just follow up with a KO. However, if he isn't able to get another Charizard down next turn, if we get the KO here, we can actually start to do some big things. He had a Lily in his hand the whole time. Never mind, I was really hoping he only had two cards and he had to rely on a Ranguru to bail him out. He didn't do Roy and Resolve first, though. That's actually kind of interesting. That he didn't do that before the Lily. That might have helped him. So I'm glad that he didn't do that. Ooh, wow, he's attaching even more energy. He has the knockout, I think, with three base energies, right? Don't know why he had to play all of them down. We'll see if he has any way to get his energy back. So we bring in Swampert. See, we draw a rainbow energy. Hmm. I think we gotta do power draw first. We'll get rid of the Vulpix. Rare candy. We didn't get one. I was really hoping we could, because we get Meganium down, then we can use Meganium to get a Beedrill down, and then we can play the Super Boost Energy. And I guess I could still find a DCE then, so it works out. I don't want to get rid of anything. I think it is Cynthia. I, did, I don't know. We need to either find DC or like a way to get double Meganium and double Pokemon. Ah, dang it, dude. We just got... Ugh, that is... That's bad. That was pretty bad. Cynthia, can't lie. Oh, no. Well, we just gotta hope he doesn't have three energies to knock me out. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, when I said this deck loses to Charizard, I was in line, because, yeah. Even with the advantage of water, we still just can't beat him. It's a good thing they're Swampers Prize, because I should have just done Needle Queen's ability that one turn. Whatever. I just woke up. Can't blame me. But anyways, oh, wow. He's going to Volkner. Okay. If that's the support for the turn, he may not knock out Swampert. I guess he has to play two energy recyclers to help him out here. Dang it, he does. Well, if he has a fire in his hand, I mean, we're screwed. We still try and attack with Swampert, though. We just need to get one of our stretchers, which we haven't played one yet, so. That option is available to us, maybe. We just gotta hope he doesn't have a fire in his hand. If he doesn't knock me out, I think we can do some big things here. I think we can have a pretty big turn. It is good that he hasn't been able to get another Charizard back down. He's only played one rare candy. So we have been getting a little lucky there. Because if he had another Charizard in play, it, this game would be over. This game would be over. Right, let's see. Swampert, survive the turn. You got one job. Ooh, he's going to max potion. That's fine. Still one-shot him. Still one-shot him. Alright, Roaring Resolve. Does he have a fire energy? He might be able to play his hand down a little bit and instruct to find that fire energy, so if it's not in his hand, he might be able to do that. Energy switch. Okay. Now I'm even more confused. I, I like the idea of energy switch in this deck, by the way, because you can get any extra energy on Charizard through another Charizard's Roaring Resolve. But I don't really know why he did that. I guess he's really wanted to go for Instruct here.
we have to retreat the rainbow energy because he did the effect of power draw into a DC. We might have to retreat the rainbow energy. All right, what do we draw? We got 140 HP. Do a rescue stretcher. We'll power draw away probably just Lily in all honesty. I don't think I need that at this point. All right, we did find the DCE, so we will be able to knock out Charizard here, which I am going to do. Though, unfortunately, we have to give up one of our rainbows, which is really unfortunate. That's the only problem with taking this knockout, but we have to take it. I think we just... I am... I'm tempted to get back the Needle Queen. But no, nah, we'll just Hydro Pump. We don't need to do Stretcher right now. He may not even knock me out. He needs to get another Charizard back down. There's the Swampert off the prizes. That's what I was looking for. Now all we gotta do is just get Triple Stage 2. We can activate Suit Boost. And then that makes up for having to give up that Rainbow Energy. So we're definitely, hopefully, getting somewhere. When I said we, we probably can't beat this matchup, we might be able to make a small comeback. We might be able to make this game a lot closer than I anticipated it ever being. It's gonna drop a Lele, which is good. That's hopefully can be my way to win the game. So our, the door to win is there, it's just we just have to deal with Charizard. Though he may whiff Rare Candy Charizard here, and if he does, this is huge. He did not whiff it, that is, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. That's, that's terrible. That's one of the most awful things that could ever happen. We're still in desperate need of Rare Candy. We can't get another small bird or we, ugh. This is brutal. The fact that he hit that, man, that is so bad. The only way I can see myself KOing this is with Beedrill. But then I give up another prize, and then I, he just needs to take one prize to win the game, which is not what I'm trying to do. Man, if he didn't hit that Rare Candy Charizard, I really think we could have made a strong comeback. Oh, he's only getting a Charmeleon. Interesting. That gave him one of the, that, that Cynthia was insane. He was able to get his hand size to zero. Got a rescue stretcher and hit the rare cane charger. What more could you ask for? Yeah. This game is unwinnable at this point. There's I don't see how I'm gonna win this. Unless we are able to hit like the super boost energy swampered off, we might be able to win, but that's not gonna happen because I don't even think we get three stage twos in play at this point. Unless we we'd have to get like a we'd have to use both our rare candies in one turn. Which is not looking likely. It might even be smarter just to try and get the Beedrill knockout. And but then we we just lose to a Charizard. So this game is unwinnable. I might just go for the for the triple stage two play. We might be able to pull it off. Well with a top deck like that, that is not happening. Really wish we could drop another nine tails. Oh, we only have one rare candy in the deck. That says everything. I'm just gonna try and burn these. Our other Chikorita's gone. Rip, I was gonna say. Maybe not. I can stretch over the Chikorita back. Alright, so here's the strategy. I guess I shouldn't have played the comps. I don't know how I'm winning this at this point, though, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think it matters. We have to go double Meganium, and we might be able to win. Do I just play Stretcher? No. Alright, Cynthia. We need to find Rare Candy and a way to do double Meganium here. And get Swampert in play. And get Super Boost Energy. That's asking for way too much. Yeah, we didn't get it. Rip. Yeah, we just lose, basically. As stated, Charizard, not gonna happen. You're not gonna beat that matchup. We're gonna open up a pack from the shop though and we'll do another match with the deck hopefully we get some more beedrill action though we get to take three prizes on a uh on a tag team we're hoping that's the case and we're hoping we pull a beautiful full art pika rom here or pikachu zekrom in general now we got a nido king this is something i do want to look at very soon i think nido king's actually kind of underrated um i want to look at a nido king malamar nido queen deck uh, we'll do another game, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. I'll try and make sure this match, we get to use more Beedrill. Guys, let's go do another match. Took a bit of an L against Charizard, but yeah, we, we can't really beat Charizard. I could have probably played that a little bit better, I know. 
I know I'm gonna get flagged in the comments. All right, metal and grass. This is most likely Venusaur, which is quite literally the best matchup we could ask for. Like rainbow energy, bye bye Venusaur. So this matchup hopefully can go well for us. Venusaur is what we wanna see. We're gonna have to start with Mudkip, unfortunately. This hand is kinda doo doo. Actually, I could've started with Vulpix instead. Yeah, why did, uh, why didn't I start with Vulpix? Ugh. Okay, fine, we'll just do Guzman then. Maybe on a Shaman. Yeah, I shouldn't have, why did I start with Mudkip? That was dumb. Cause I could do Beacon. Dang, I'm an idiot. I ain't playing smart right now, man. Let's see if my opponent attaches to Venusaur, cause we obviously don't want to Guzma that, but we can Guzma the Shaman. Unless he plays a skateboard on it. Wait, it has a free treat. No, okay, good. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. I don't know why I started with Mudkip. I might even need the Guzma. So, yeah, that was a really silly mistake on my end. Ooh, he's going to rope anyways. Never mind. So, I'm actually glad I didn't start with Mudkip now. Or Vulpix. Because then we would have still had to do Guzma. So... You know what, shout out. But unfortunately our hand is so bad that we're gonna be at a slowdown here. But once we get Beedrill going, literally we can win the game with this attack and just kick out Venus or Celebi and win the game in two attacks. So we have the advantage here. Are you, are you kidding me? This guy does two escape ropes in one turn with one hand. Dude, why? Yeah, that is really annoying. I, yeah, I can't do Celebration. All right, what do we draw? Nothing good. Well, actually, I don't want to say that. We get Bullfix back. This really sucks. Like, the one time Beedrill actually does something, guys, and we're unable to make him work. So, Bullfix will probably go down here. So, Lele and another Vulpix, I guess. No, Lele and Chikorita. So, we'll just stretch her for Vulpix back. And we'll, have to, we'll have to retreat Mudkip. I might just give up the DC, because these rainbows are literally how I can win the game. So, I might just retreat the DC. We'll see, though. We might not get knocked out. I might regret this if he doesn't knock me out. But I'm pretty sure Vulpix is going to go down here. Pretty positive he's going to get the escape board or another switch or something. So I might regret not getting Ninetales, but I'm predicting the knockout. So it, it's whatever. Though, well, maybe I could just draw a communication and Ultra Ball or Ninetales so that is still on the board. Wow, he actually doesn't knock me out. All right, now I'm kicking myself for not getting what I should have got. But whatever, we can do beacon still, which is fine. Is he gonna judge me? I think he is. No, he isn't. Okay, never mind, doesn't matter. All right, so let's see what we draw. True Meganium, that's pretty nice. I'm tempted to do the Elms now, just because I know he's gonna judge me. I am really tempted to do Elm's Lecture, because i he is judging me here. But I think I just go for the Cynthia instead. Yeah, I think I just Cynthia. I want to have at least room for a um, double Weedle, just in case he tries to goose my one of them. There's one Weedle. Ultra Ball is pretty lit. Um, we can get Swampert. Yeah, I think we do. Don't want to lose Stretcher, but it's fine. I might actually just get Meganium instead, to be honest. No, we have to get Swampert. I'm not going to do Power Draw because I obviously don't want to get rid of the Rainbow Energy. So we're just going to get Swampert down. So when he judges me here, we don't have to worry about much. We'll do Beacon. I guess for Meganium and Ninetales. He's probably gonna knock me out, but I'm still gonna get the Ninetales anyways. I know he's gonna judge me. And if he doesn't, we can get rid of the Ninetales with the power draw. He might just goose on my Weedle though, if he hits one off a of Stellar Wish. No, he's gonna go for the Judge. So if everything goes to plan next turn, we should be able to knock him out, hopefully, with Beedrill. Ooh, and Erica's. That is huge. If you put, please put another Pokemon down, please, so I can just go for Erica's Hospitality and go for there. See what he gets. Buff padding. Doesn't matter what you get. 
Doesn't matter how much HP you have, you cannot survive a Beedrill attack. So he's not going to play anything down. So that sucks, but that's fine. We can still draw a decent amount of cards to Erica's Hospitality. We can bring out Lele, so that's good. We obviously, is why I want to put a DC so we can retreat it. Really surprised Vulpix survived as long as he did. But once we just knock him out, Beedrill, man, it's all over. Alright, what do we get? Got another Mudkip. We'll play this first. Draw four cards. Nice. Rare candy. That's what I want to see. Definitely want to probably just play the Needle Rain down too. Needle Queen actually can attack in this matchup. Now we just got to find the Beedrill Rainbow Energy. And if not, another Weedle. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. We didn't get the Rainbow. We did get Super Boost though. So I can use Super Boost Energy here which isn't terrible. I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to get rid of Mudkip. I'm going to get another Weedle down. I'm going to Quick Ripening Herb. I'm going to play as attack. Get Beedrill. Yeah, no... Man, not getting the rainbow kind of stinks. I'm not going to lie. Um, I can attack with Needle Queen. And he wouldn't actually knock me out with Solar Beam. I don't know if he's playing Hammers though, so it's a little sketch. I might even need that in case he drops a Wondrous Labyrinth on me. The problem is, I don't want to lose my Tapu Lele, if he takes two prizes, Beedrill actually kind of hurts us a little bit by giving up an extra prize. So my best course of action might actually just be attack with Neoqueen. We're not going to hit him very hard, but it is better than losing my, uh, it's better than losing my Lele, because I don't want to lose two prizes. I'm just basically stalling until we get Beedrill in play. I hope he doesn't play Enhanced Hammer. If he does, this kind of screws me over, and then I have to do Guzma, and then I obviously can't knock out Venus, so unless he benches one. Ooh, Escape Rope. Okay, you know what? Maybe I... What do I give up? Maybe I just give up a Weedle. It's technically the only other thing that I guess is logical to give out. So we have another Weedle in play. I guess we can keep the Needle Queen for later. So he still has to get another Venusaur down. So yeah, you know what? Take out my Weedle. I don't really care about it. No, he's Guzma me. So you can bring out. You can bring out a Weedle. So yeah, just get rid of the Weedles. I think we actually have to bring out Needle Queen. Does Beetle have a Fear Tree? No, it doesn't. Yeah, I might actually have to bring out Needle Queen in case we don't find the, the Rainbow. So if we don't find Rainbow Energy here, we aren't going to be able to really do much. And we're only power drawing, so I don't know if we'll find it, to be honest with you. So I'll have to bring out Needle Queen, and we'll probably have to retreat with it. Is he going to get another Venusaur? No, I don't think that was a Venusaur. But once we do one Destiny Stinger, the game's probably all over. Oh, that's right, the Aether of Paradise. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. You only just barely knocked me out, Kappa. If Weedle had 60 HP, this would literally be the strongest Weedle on the planet. That really sucks. So we're going to have to bring out Needle Queen here, I think, just so that we have the retreat option available. Oh, wow, that was an insanely good draw. Now I regret bringing out the Needle Queen, but guys, we're about to do it. I'm gonna power draw the Vulpix away. I wanna keep Guzma. Okay, we got another Elms, we'll play that. Get the Weedle, Vulpix, and Mudkip. Nice we'll play that down. So yeah, unfortunately we have to lose our suit boost energy here, but you know what, we get to knock him out with Destiny Stinger, and that's all that really matters. All that really matters. Play 
with this. Swampert. Just need to find our stretcher. And Destiny Stinger. So we're about to take three prizes, guys. And that's epic. Let's see what our prizes are. Cynthia's good, Nine Tails is good, and Communication Map's good too. I guess I should have gotten rid of the Nine Tails so that Voltex in with Power Drop or whatever. So that's kind of the big problem. What do I bring out? What do I bring out? We have the Guzma, we have Weedle. Probably just Vulpix. No. But yeah, we get to we get to keep doing beacons. So yeah, we bring out Vulpix, I think. It's logical. Like I can't attack with anything else because we had to lose Super Boost. If we didn't lose Super Boost, Nido Queen is what I would have brought out. So we have to bring out another Venusaur, and then all we have to do is just hit him with another uh, thing. He might actually judge me this turn. There's Venusaur. So now all we literally have to do is get another Beetle down before he actually takes two prizes so we don't tie the game so i'm expecting him to judge me here because my hand is so big he's mo how many rare canes have I played? actually two okay that's good yeah he's gonna judge me so that's fine if you whiff an energy actually this would make this a little bit easier all right let's get something i really need to get that stretcher Ooh, we got rainbow we got Lily, which is nice. No, I got energy. That's pretty bad. We're going to have to probably go in and evolve into Lola Ninetales. Actually, no, we don't. Because then we lose two prizes. So this could be tough. This could be kind of tough. And he gets a Cynthia. All right. Yeah, because like if I want to Nolan Nine Tails, we lose it. Cause like the only way out of the the thing is with the uh, I can't remember the name of it is with the switch card known as Guzma, and there's nothing to Guzma and Destiny Stinger, so we have a bit of a problem. I am gonna put Mudkip down. I am gonna go double Swampert here. Yeah, we have our stretcher. That's really good. If we didn't. Yeah, this game would not end very well. Um, I am really tempted to attach a rainbow to a, to like a Layla here so we can retreat it, but I'm pretty confident we'll find an energy because I just need something to retreat with to follow up. There we go. We got DC. That's all I really care about. Power draw away. Needle ran. There's rare candy. There's nine tails. A little too late to play it though. We'll get rid of Chikorita. Just need to find Rescue Stretcher. So I can drop Nidoran. I can drop this and I can actually get the Rescue Stretcher now. I just don't want to give up two prizes or let him to potentially take two prizes. So it's, I don't really like the idea of that. Maybe I shouldn't have brought it out. I think we just beacon. Doesn't matter. Burn me what I get. We just need to find our stretcher. And we get win. He might judge me again. So maybe I should have done Ultra Ball. Yeah, maybe it was a bad idea to bring out Vulpix. Because I'm I probably need Vulpix here to deal with Venusaur. Getting these Beagle KOs is a lot harder than it looks, guys. These Beetle KOs are way harder than it looks. Cynthia, so not a judge, and that's really, 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 really good. Unless, like, somehow he has a peeking red card, which wouldn't even matter, actually. So he finds the DC, unfortunately. If he didn't find the DC and with the attack, that would have been really good, but nope. He's gonna Stellar Wish. Yeah, if I didn't bring out Vulpix, guys, we would have won. With, with this hand, so kind of sucks. Would have been really good to evolve into Nine Tails, but again, we just can't get that up. We just can't give it up. Double Swampert, though, hopefully can help us find the Rescue Stretcher. And if we find it, we win the game and knock out Venusaur. Is there any way I can? I can thin two with Ultra Ball. So we have a lot of options here. Oh, if we whip the Stretcher, guys, I'm gonna be super tilted. We have a few ways to thin the deck a little bit. Can I just draw the stretcher so I don't have to go through all that? No. 
Okay, so we can burn a couple cards from our hand to find this. So Stretcher is there. I'm not gonna play Weedle down. Stretcher. Oh, we didn't get it. Stretcher. Come on. Come on, I need it. Oh, we didn't find it. No. Oh my god. And I can't play Weedle down. He has Guzma. I think he wins here because we just literally would stretch off of drawing six cards. Oh my god. I can still maybe find it here. It's possible. It is still possible. This is like the biggest Cynthia of the century though. Come on. Stretcher. Oh, we got it. Oh, oh my gosh, we hit it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, we actually got the win here against a Venusaur deck. That stretcher off of Cynthia is the most clutch thing that I think has ever happened in my life. Top 10 clutches moments on PC Geo. All right, I'm going to wrap today's PC Geo video here with this win. Beedrill against Venusaur Celebi, a matchup that is pretty much what you want to play against. And we got pretty damn lucky there, not gonna lie. We got super lucky by hitting that rest stretcher. So thanks for watching today's PC Joe video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like. Don't forget to subscribe to help me on the road to reaching 4,000 subscribers. We're very close. We're actually almost at 3,900 subs. So if you guys want to help me reach 3,900 subs also, that would be greatly appreciated. Beedrill Meganium, it is a fun deck. And again, I am working on that budget Beedrill deck. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Super clutch, super clutch game there. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good day. Peace out. Check out Card Cavern TCG. Also, use discount code LDF. Don't forget about that. Order some codes off there. 